I'm testing the Gable 7350 a portable vertical antenna. Is this the whip and tripod to rule all others? Well, keep watching and we'll find out. This is the Gable, a GRA 7350 uh, TC ultra compact uh, HF antenna. Uh, I've been looking uh, around for some uh, very compact portable uh, antennas um, in, in the goal of building um, an ultra lightweight uh, QRP kit. A lot of people have been commenting on this antenna. People have been asking questions about this antenna. So I thought, hey, well, why don't I pick one of these up? Um, put it through its paces, uh, see how this thing works. So I purchased uh, one of these antennas online and the antenna comes in actually two parts. Uh, the first part is the antenna itself, uh, which is uh, this unit right here, which is kind of a coil, which is a coil unit, which is adjustable by moving it's the slider up and down. And the second part is the whip. This is an uh, approximately a 102 inch uh, collapsible whip. And then you also get a third piece, which is another coil extension. So you can drop this entire whip down to uh, the 80 meter band. And I don't have that installed in here today. Right now, as this stands, we can uh, tune it between uh, six meters and uh, 40 meters. And then the second component is this ultra lightweight tripod. Um, the tripod, these, le these legs are extendable. It's sort of like a twist lock mechanism. Uh, you can uh, make uh, splay them out. Uh, you can tighten them up. In the center, there is a removable um, antenna connector uh, stand with either a standard 3 8 by 24 thread mount and uh, UHF uh, SO239 uh, connector on the other end. And it also comes with an SO239 uh, female connection on this end, so you can screw on a coil with a UHF male connector. I've seen some antennas with UHF male connectors, so it's a nice, it's a nice um, um, option there. Both of these, you know, both of those um, antenna mounting sections come with the tripod. And then finally, there are screw holes around uh, the base here that you can attach your uh, counterpoise to. Uh, this antenna does not come with any counterpoises, so you're gonna have to make your own radio wires. Uh, right now I'm using uh, four 16 foot wires. Uh, it also works with the window screen. I tested it with the window screen. I haven't put it on the air yet with the, with the screen, but um, we're, are, um, I'm able to get a good match uh, with both the um, wires and the screen. So that's a really good, that's a really good sign. Um, but um, that's enough about the descriptor of this antenna. I think, you know, really I can talk about it all day, but um, to really see how this thing works, you know, let's go put it on the air. Hello, Delta 9, Delta 9, Tango. A buddy in Stoughton here is loud and clear. Kilo Delta 9, Delta Zulu Tango. Good morning, 59, uh, Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1439. Back to you. Roger, Michael, good morning as well. Can you do Yeah, you too. Take it easy. Uh, we'll get you on the log another time. Uh, KB9 ZBR parked on the air. Here we go. KB9 ZBR parks on the air. Here is it. Kilo Alpha 4, November X ray Papa. Gotcha. 5 7 Wisconsin park number Kilo 1439. Back to you. Kilo 5 9 Kentucky 6 9 Kentucky. 
All right. Well, thanks a lot for the Kentucky today. You have a great day in 7-3. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air. Here is it. Okay, let's grab that park to park. Okay, I got the I got two park to parks here. So we're gonna start with the VE6. Um, I got the Victor Echo 3089. Uh, you're gonna have to go ahead with your call sign again and then I'll give you my two parks. Foxtrot X-Ray Lima. Lima, thank you. And you're coming in a solid 5-7 Wisconsin parks number 1439 and 4244. Back to you. Uh, can you repeat the second park there again? The second park is Kilo 4244. Uh, QSL. 4244, QSL? Yes, Roger, Roger. I just swallowed a bug out here. Uh, yes, uh, you got it. You too have a great activation 7-3. And then the other park to park, go ahead. November 2, Sierra Mike Juliet. Uh, thanks for the 5-5. Five, five. You're a 5-3 into Kilo 1439 and Kilo 4244. Back to you. Kilo 4344, Kilo 1439. I am at uh, Kilo 2001. Thank you for the three zeros. You said 3001 in Texas? Uh, negative. Uh, 2 0 0 1 at around this park. 2 0 0 1 in New York. Oh, that sounds much better. All right. Uh, thanks a lot for the park today. Hey, have a great activation. Uh, watch all kinds of your videos. Appreciate your work on that. Have a great day. All right. Hey, that's my. Uh, that's great to hear. You have a great day too and a great activation. KB9 BBR parks on the air. Here is it. Whiskey 3 Alpha Delta Charlie, nice signal. 57 into Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1439. Back to you. Roger, you're 5 9, Pennsylvania. Thanks for the activation. All right, well, thanks for the Pennsylvania. You have a great day. 7 3, KB9 VBR, parks on the air. Here is it. In November, zero station. Almost a 50. Uh, afternoon. Uh, Okay, I'll do a couple more here and then we'll call her quits. Now, this is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, last call. So let's talk a little bit about the Gable uh, GRA7350 uh, TC uh, portable antenna. I've had it out here this weekend. Uh, we're camping on uh, Madeline Island and activated two parks on the air entities, uh, Big Bay State Park and uh, 
Big Bay Sand Spit and Bog State Natural Area. And um, I thought that was a perfect opportunity to test this antenna out um, as a highly portable solution when I want to walk on down to the beach and put the park on the air. Uh, well, I guess my initial impressions of this antenna is a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> um, this gets, uh, let's talk about some of the nice things about it first. Uh, number one, uh, the model I purchased has the uh, laser engraved markings on the, on the shaft here. I think in earlier earlier models had a sticker, uh, but, the, but this, uh, this is definitely um, a lot nicer. You know, um, and basically, you know, the whole thing is well constructed. I think it's um, uh, a nice unit in that regard. Uh, it doesn't some workmanship doesn't seem to be uh, shoddy at all. So um, that's a nice thing about it. Uh, three eighths by twenty four stud on the bottom. Uh, three eighths by twenty four. Uh, receiver here on the tripod so you can use uh, this tripod with um, your other uh, 3 8 by 24 um, mounts which is really nice. Uh, I've been I, I put my uh, 213 inch whip onto this tripod and um, it was a little it was a little um, uh, wiggly but it, it, it held it it held it fine <laughs> as long as there's not any wind. Uh, we, you could put this antenna onto, you know, say a, 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 a clamp or a jaw mount or something like that if you didn't want to use the tripod. So that's a nice, that's a really nice feature. I did not try the 80 meter whip or the 80 meter coil at all. Um, I don't know. <laughs> and we'll get into that. We'll get into the downsides in a little bit. Uh, the tripod, it's, um, this is at a, a twist lock mechanism. It seems pretty sturdy. Um, it definitely sets up fast. Um, you can adjust it. I noticed if you put something, you know, it's 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 lightweight. Um, I don't think this is the killer tripod to, to end all antenna tripods. That's for sure um, because it is. You can't lock these legs, or can you lock these legs? Um, well, maybe you can. You know, if they're fully splayed, it looks like you can lock them. But uh, otherwise, this thing is just going to wiggle. Uh, I guess I'm 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 <laughs> a little more uh, used to uh, substantial tripods and um, working in the film and uh, video industry. Um, that's something that I really I really enjoy. But um, oh, it's decent. Um, it's I don't think it's $129 decent, but um, it's okay. Um, Let's see, let's talk about the downsides. Well, let's talk about the performance first. Um, good performance on uh, 20 meters. I uh, had no problem uh, taking it out on the beach, doing a tune, um, and uh, making about 50 uh, contacts in about a 40 minute time period. So that worked um, That worked really well. 40 meters, not so much. Um, I'm I'm more of the camp that uh, in in the mindset that um, the more whip the more wire you can get in the air the better your signal is going to be and uh, this 102 inch whip just does not cut it um, as you get below a uh, 40 meter band <laughs> it's uh, no there's no way around that um, made a couple of contacts on 40 meters both on FT8 and on phone but um, it's definitely performed this antenna definitely performed a lot better on the on the higher bands I did not try this coil I can just think of this as nothing more than probably a big dummy load um, well probably uh, I'll, when I get home I'll do some more testing maybe get it on, on whisper or something like that and we'll, we'll, we'll see if we could get some actual performance numbers but definitely um, comparing this antenna with my quarter wave whip antenna, night and day performance, uh, night and day performance. But if you're looking for something um, lightweight, uh, very compact, I think, and you know, we're at the peak of the solar cycle right now, so you don't need a lot of antenna to get on the air. Yeah, this might be a really good solution for you. Um, no doubt about that. Um, but uh, if for any anything else, eh, it's not going to be my first choice of antennas, but still um, highly packable, highly portable. Um, I'll probably keep it in my kit uh, for uh, those purposes, but um, given the choice, eh, I probably wouldn't buy it again. Uh, 
but otherwise, this is the Gable uh, GRA uh, 7350 uh, TC uh, portable equipment, a uh, portable antenna. I'll put links to this. If you're interested in this, I'll put links to it down in the video description below. You can check it out yourself. Um, this is, um, I, uh, I purchased this with my own money, so this is a non-compensated uh, review of the antenna. And um, that's about it. Uh, questions, comments, leave them below. Uh, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day in 7-3.